Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, media friends, welcome to the Audi stand for the press conference at uh, the Beijing Auto Show. In the meanwhile, we would like to say hello to the distinguished guests from uh, Volkswagen Group, from uh, FAW, uh, Volkswagen, and the Audi company. Beijing 2014 Audi stand. And first of all, I would like to send our warmest welcome to every one of you. Thank you for coming. And we would also like to send our special welcome to the senior executives of Volkswagen AG and Audi AG, as well as Volkswagen China, FAW Volkswagen Operational Management Committee, and FAW Volkswagen. A big welcome to all of you. Welcome. 欢迎各位. 对于奥迪品牌来讲，这是第六次在中国最重要的车展。For the Audi brand, this is the very sixth time for Audi to present its best technologies to Chinese customers. Audi has a history of uh, over one century in the auto industry and is known for its breakthrough innovations. And best of the class experiences for car owners. In the coming 20 minutes. Please, together with me, expect the concept premiere from Audi because uh, it's actually the global premiere of the Audi concept car. Now, without any further ado, I would like to give the floor to Mr. Zhang P. Jie, the manager of FAW Volkswagen, to deliver the opening speech. The Board of Directors of FAW Volkswagen Automobile Co. Limited for a speech. Your team. Dear Mr. Wiener Kuhn, Mr. Stadler, Mr. Hackenberg, ladies and gentlemen, dear friends from the media, a very good morning to every one of you, and welcome to the Audi stand at uh, Beijing Auto Show to uh, catch a glimpse of the Audi future. Here on behalf of uh, FAW Volkswagen, I would like to uh, deliver our heartfelt greetings to all the fans of Audi. The Spohm Deutsch technology is uh, the gene of the Audi brand. We are committed to breakthrough technologies and to enlighten the future for the automotive industry. Indeed, future is such a warming, a heartwarming keyword for the customers in this market. We want to open the door to all the possibilities in the future. In the high-end segment in China, the sportiness, intelligence, environmental friendliness and uh, the uh, smaller compact engine uh, are becoming the trend. Today, we are presenting the uh, new portfolio and new strategy to the China market. Earlier this year, we have premiered the uh, Audi A3 family and particularly the uh, sport bag and the limousine which uh, represent a new chapter for Audi in the China market. In the past one first quarter, we have sold 123,387 units, a growth of 21.2% year on year in China, which is also setting a new bar for our competitors. And this year, we are presenting the uh, Q330 TFSI. Also, the compact SUV from Audi will soon bring the best performance to the China market. For the Audi Q3, Owners, we are expanding the portfolio to offer more choices for Chinese fans. The 
the pricing segment for the uh, Q3 30 TFSI ranges from uh, 240,000 to 280,000 RMB yuan. While maintaining the pricing uh, stability, we are also upgrading the uh, 2015 model for Chinese owners. We have reshaped the high-end A-class SUV market in China, and very proudly we own at least 40% of the market share in this segment. With 12 car models equipped with 1.4T and 2.0T engines, we will win more young owners in the China market, and we will continue to capture more market share. Ladies and gentlemen, today with the Audi A3 Swapback e tron we'll open new tours in the China market with its efficiency and low carbon footprint. Actually, this car will knock at the door in the China market next year. We will soon bring the other Audi A3 family car models into the China market to build the powerful portfolio in this segment. Uh, March the 29th, with the, the uh, witness of uh, the President of China and Premier of uh, Germany, uh, FAW, has signed an agreement with uh, Volkswagen Group to carry on the already successful collaboration to bring new energy vehicles and cutting edge technologies into China. Very soon, uh, Mr. Steller and Mr. Hagenberg will share with you insights into forward-looking technologies from the Audi world to open the door to all the possibilities of uh, smart traffic in the future. Now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Stettler. Thank you, Zhang Bijie. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. So it is a great pleasure to be back to Beijing once again. Do you remember? Two years ago, we presented the Audi A6 e-tron concept here in Beijing. And today, I can tell you, we are going to bring it to the market in 2016, and it will be locally produced in Changchun. So we deliver on our promises. Audi is shaping the future of electric mobility. Already today, we have three full hybrids in the Chinese market. It is the Audi A6 hybrid, the A8 hybrid, and the Q5 hybrid Quattro. We are creating solutions that are amazing, not only because they are future-oriented and technologically advanced. We are creating solutions rather because they make sense for our customers. That's why we strongly believe in our Audi e-tron plug-in hybrid strategy. Our first plug-in hybrid on the Chinese market will be the Audi A3 Sportback. It comes to the market, as mentioned before, in 2015 and combines a gasoline engine with an electric motor. Its electric range meets the need of the daily commute. It allows you to drive up to 50 kilometers completely emission-free, for example, in the city or in urban areas. And with an overall range up to 940 kilometers, the A3 e-tron is also a champion of long distances. This plug-in hybrid is the first in the premium compact class and it is a very powerful one with a system performance of 204 horsepower and a maximum speed of 222 kilometers per hour. Standard fuel consumption is at 1.5 liters per 100 kilometer, and the CO2 emission are only 35 grams. That's where our engineers made a real breakthrough. With the Audi A3 e-tron, we combine sustainability, efficiency, and of course, sportiness like never before. And by the way, we at Audi, we are very proud that the Audi A3 was just named 
World Car of the Year 2014. In the year to come, we will globally launch a new Audi e-tron every year. I have already mentioned the A3 and the Audi A6 e-tron, our flagship model A8, and our top SUV model Q7 will be offered as e-tron models as well. So our goal is to have an e-tron version of all key model series by 2020. Ladies and gentlemen, with a plus of more than 21% in China, we have just reported the most successful first quarter in our history. And here, we are serving our largest single market, and in fact, China has become our second home. And this strong position is the result of two key success factors. With 25 years in the market, we have the deepest understanding of what our customers need in terms of product. And we have a strong partner at our side. Currently, we are preparing for continued success and prosperity here in China. In 2014, we strive to outperform the general market growth in China and achieve a double-digit growth rate. In other words, we are very focused to deliver far more than half a million automobiles to our customers. Just to mention two milestones of our progress. We are extending our production capacities in Jiangchung and Fujian up to 700,000 automobiles per year, with Fujian being home to the promising Audi A3 sedan. And we are opening a new dealership almost every week. So you see, we are committed to further extend our leadership as the number one premium automotive brand here in China. Thank you very much. Enjoy the press conference. It's getting excited. Thank you. Let's welcome 
为二零一四北京车展而来的奥迪 TT Offroad Concept 概念车，以及奥迪公司管理董事会技术和研发董事哈肯贝格教授。Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Audi Concept Car for Auto China 2014, the new Audi TT Offroad, and its mastermind Professor Uch Hackenberg, a board member for technical development Audi AG. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Mishman, Chanchman, Nihau. Welcome, Professor. Hello, nice to meet you. Actually, to be with you, I can see there is a boy sitting over there. Can Hagen 教授一起来到这个现场的还有一位小朋友。来，小朋。Kevin， 也欢迎你。喜欢这。Welcome to a bit of a show, Kevin. Do you love this car? Yes, indeed. 小小的寓意在里面，因为。Actually, I believe. Many of you do have a dream for cars. Kevin has a dream as well. So is、uh, Mr. Heckenberg and the rest of the audience. I believe、uh, many people have、uh, followed their dreams, have、uh, made their way into the auto industry. Professor Heckenberg has a small gift for Kevin, right? Gift for Kevin. Let's see. 来 ，Kevin 过去看看是什么。Kevin, go and have a look. Look here. That's a nice toy. 一个一模一样的车模，而且。In exactly the same model. 会发生什么？ See what will happen. Look at this. A remotely controlled car model. It is coming back. 喜欢吗 ，Kevin? Do you like it, Kevin? Kevin, Professor, would you present it? To Kevin, please. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 来 ，Kevin， 把这个车举起来给大家看一下。Hold it, Kevin, so everybody can see it. 脸挡住了，这样。<laughs> 好了，那很多人希望 Kevin 可能在未来也一样能够。Uh, I hope that、um, Kevin, in the future, you can also、um, come and work in the automotive industry, making some contributions to. This industry. Now, let's give the floor to Dr. Hackenberg to、um, give us more information about this. Thank you. Thank you. Audi TT off-road concept. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, the Audi TT off-road concept. I think it's a great car, and、uh, it's fantastic. It's very emotional. It's, and it's fun to drive, not only when going from backstage to stage. The Audi TT off-road concept is a powerful combination of a sporty coupe and the tradition of the legendary Audi TT with a compact SUV from our successful Audi Q family. It gives you an idea of how our vision of a future member of the Audi TT family might look like. Why do we present this car here in China? Our second home base. The answer is very easy. This car is perfectly matching the expectations of our Chinese customers. The Audi TT off-road concept is dynamic, is comfortable, is connected, and is sustainable. With that, it has all ingredients for the automobile mobility of the future. It is a plug-in hybrid drive with a high-tech combustion turbo FSI engine with 2.0 liter. Four cylinders and a powerful turbocharger. This engine has been combined with two electric motors, one of the front ax and one at the rear ax. The overall system performance of 300 kilowatt is equivalent to 408 hp. So the car boosts from zero to 100 in only 5.2 seconds and reaches a top speed of 250 kilometers per hour. For a distance of 100 kilometers, it needs only 1.9 liter of gasoline on average in the cycle. This is a CO2 equivalent of only 45 gram per kilometer, an excellent CO2 efficiency rate. It is purely electrical and emission-free driving mode.、Uh, the Audi TT off-road concept has a range of 50 kilometers. In total, you may go for more than 800 kilometers without any charging. The driver has three different driving modes to choose from: it's the electric mode, it's the hybrid mode, and the sport mode for 100% system performance. 
The exterior design of the Audi TT off-road concept is a reference to two successful Audi model families. It has a powerful road stance, as you know from the Audi EQ SUV family, and it brings a number of Audi TT-specific details, such as, for example, the big wheel houses. In its interior, our engineers apply the full power of Audi, of Audi creativity. Connectivity is an essential part of it. This show car features two driving assistants that are close to serious uh, maturity. It's the intersection assistant and the traffic light assistant. The virtual cockpit is a truly revolutionary concept. It is driver focused and makes driving even safer and more convenient. The 12.3 inch TFT display generates 3D graphics in high end quality. They support any kind of driving information as well as infotainment and entertainment services. In addition, we include free Audi smart displays in the concept. This tablet offers fast DVD or TV streaming, radio broadcast, navigation planning, as well as internet access with high speed LTE. In our understanding, a premium interior, as described, goes along with premium air condition system. That's why our Chinese customers can already experience in the actual Audi model range. And so we did for the Audi TT off-road concept. We use an ionizator to bring iron-loaded air into the car. Driver and passengers breathe fresh air, what's very important here in Beijing, as if they would take a, a walk at the seaside or in the mountains. Sensors activate high-end filters that keep respirable dust and gas away from the interior. When you look at the competition, this premium air quality is a unique feature of our brand. Our customers expect such tailor-made solutions for performance, for connectivity, for comfort, and also for efficiency. And that is what we at Audi are committed to. Stay tuned and watch out for more to come. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. And now we would like to invite back onto the stage Mr. Zhang and Professor Stadler to take a group picture. And thank you, Professor, for introducing the concept car. Thank you.